welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today we are going to be reviewing Betty Crockett's Mug Treat, which is a chocolate Bavarian uh, cake that goes in a mug. Now this was $4 at my local supermarket. Uh, it has two servings, so that works out to be approximately a little over $2 per cake when you factor in the little bit of milk you need. Uh, and the energy for the microwave. So, let's check out what you get inside this lovely box. Now, uh, it has a a one year use by date. So it's not really that long of a use by date if it's only one year and this is a brand new product that's been released. All right, so let's break it in, open and see what's inside. So, in here we get Two cakey mixes and uh, two chocolate sauces. Okay. So, feels like there's uh, chocolate chips inside. So there's the front of the mug treat, and there's the the sauce. It says uh, sauce L C H. 8026. Uh, that's probably just a stamp number off the plastic. So you get both of those in this. And what else? So combined cake mix, sachet, and two two tablespoons of milk in a microwave mug which is approximately 310 mils that's about 320 340 so we've got the right about there and stir vigorously using a spoon or fork I choose my fork uh, until everything is mixed and smooth do not eat raw batter okay so some people like to eat cake mix I know you know, as a kid, mum's making a cake, you get to lick the bowl out, lick the spoons, but never the electric beaters while they're on. Um, okay, so we've got uh, our microwave just in behind me. It's uh, going to microwave this for 80 seconds each. Now, as you see, there's two sachets. As you know, when I do one of these checkout basket episodes, I usually get somebody to help me taste test. So. Well, can't we, we, we can't be taste testing out of the same mug, we'll be taste testing out of our own. So I've got two of these lovely Craig on YouTube mugs, and I'll be uh, giving my sidekick to uh, taste this off camera. Alright, let's get down to making this thing. So, let's start with our mug, our mix. Now, I brought scissors over so that I could easily cut this up so we're going to cut it open get the top the chocolate all go in there nicely mm, a little bit of chocolate chips in there too so that's looking good this aside for our top. Later, we get our milk, which I've got here. So two of these. One. Two. We get our fork. And we mix until the batter is smooth, as it said. I think that's smooth. What do you think? Um, smooth as a two second stir up's gonna do. So we'll put this aside and we'll do the same with the next one. All right. Now we've got our two mugs full of cake mix. Let's whack these in the microwave for 80 seconds each. One at a time, please. 
Ah, there we go. 80 seconds in the microwave for each of these. Now they are extremely hot to the touch for the outside of the mug. So make sure when you do grab them out of the microwave, you use your handles. All right. Now, last step to these is to drizzle this chocolate sauce over the top. So let's see uh, how liquefied this chocolate sauce is. It's sort of a little bit hard. It's solid. I'll stick my little teaspoon in here. Sort of um, a thicker version of Nutella. Alright, because they're still very hot, that should knock down. Let's get the second one done. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's those two chocolate sauces on top of our, you know, mug treats. Let's, uh, Jump over and uh, do a taste test. All right, so I've got my mug treat from Betty Crocker's. It's got the chocolate sauce, which is starting to melt on top, which is looking awesome because it was quite solidified before it went in on top of the hot cake. Um, but what usually goes with a nice piece of cake? A hot drink. That's right, so chocolate with more chocolate. So I'm gonna have a hot chocolate. And I've made you a uh, hot coffee over there. You alright with that one? Yeah, I just found the, the um, chocolate on top when you mentioned that. <laughs> I thought it was a metal shaped uh, cake, but it isn't. It's the chocolate. No, nope, there's chocolate sauce on top. And it's melting. Yes. Alright, a little bit of milk. Chocolate with chocolate and some milk. And uh, as you can see, I've got my Craig on YouTube mug set out at the moment. Okay, so what do you think of the look of it to start with? Well, once I found that that stuff on the top was chocolate and it started melting and running, yeah, it's good. It's flat. Mmm. Yes. Now, as you can see from the sides, the cake did rise as it cooked but then sunk down after it when, when it cooled. So that's that's one thing you've got to notice when you when you do these is you're never gonna get a clean line as in the picture on the front of the box. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's um let's go in and see what, what's inside it and see what you think. So the chocolate my chocolate is uh, half melted all over the top of my cake, which is quite good. So I'm gonna go in, let's go go down and see what it's like. Looks to have cooked all the way through, which is good. It's spongy. Mm. Tastes all right. Mmm. Do it for a second. Yep. Doesn't look like there's any um, not cooked parts in this. I've gone right into the middle of it. It looks cooked and right down to the bottom. It's very dense. Very chocolatey. It's, the ooey gooey chocolate on top is just I decided to stick to the roof of my mouth like peanut butter does. Mm -hmm. It's like coated the entire top of my mouth. Alright. Well, yeah. for the price, it's a little bit expensive. You know, I bought this at my local supermarket. It is it is a brand new product, but the price point of four dollars two might have been a little bit steep, maybe $4 for three might have been a, like a more achievable price for, for that. No, not four. That, that's a little bit too much. Then you're looking at maybe a $5 price point. Um, being $2 each, it's a little bit steep, but it does do what it says. It's ready in 80 seconds. It's as easy as putting two tablespoons of milk in the mix and giving it a mix with a fork. That's as easy as it was. Um, the sauce you add on later, which is quite easily easily done, is just dump it out on top and let it melt. Make sure you do add that that chocolate sauce in while the the the, um, the cake is starting to cool down, while it's still hot. So it's hot enough to melt that top chocolate. I don't think that would be as good as uh, if I had to let that sit for two minutes before adding that chocolate sauce on top. But overall. What do you think you'll give it out of five? 
I'd, I'd get a three and a half. I think that's not bad. I want to go with three. Yeah, and you give a three and a half. Because the fact that it didn't look like it did on the on the, 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 the front of the thing, that's the only reason I would give the three and a half. Right. If it looked like that, it would be up to a five. But it tastes good. The topping is nice and sticky. As you said, it sticks to your roof of your mouth. Uh, it was fluffy. It wasn't all stunk down. And you said, not, what is it, 80, 80 seconds? 80 seconds in the microwave. That's not bad. Yeah. Three yeah. and a half. Three and a half for you, three for me. The really, only reason why I'm taking a point off uh, is because of the price point. Two dollars for a mug. Uh, I can buy a whole mug cake for a lot less than that. Um, so that price point's a little... And, and, and that mug cake's already made. So get that in mind. A whole mug cake for a lot less. Or uh, for about the same price. Uh, but three. It's not going to get a five out of five because it just doesn't look like the one on the front. So there's the two points I've taken off for it. But three, if you are seeing it in... The, in uh, in your baking section at your local supermarket. Try it. It doesn't hurt, does 80 seconds. Look, it might be a good treat at work. Chuck it in your chuck it in your bag and uh, whisk it up for your morning tea. It takes the same about the same amount of time to make your cup of coffee. You know, it's not gonna be that hard. Um, and you'll be the um, the star of the uh, the staff room. Smells good. Alright, well, this has been What's in the Box episode for the Betty Crockett's Mug Treat. We've given it a three and a half and a three. Out of five. Just remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget if you comments, questions, or things I could be doing better in these videos, leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you have hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you haven't hit that subscribe button. You should have hit that subscribe button. Get notified when I do these. Uh, what's uh, the Tico Basket episode? <laughs> Uh, my What's the Box episodes, my daily vlogs, there'll be a vlog of me running around doing all these things in the background, getting all this stuff ready, so make sure you check out those those videos as well, and all the other uh, videos that are on my channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and until next time, see you in the next video. Nice. Uh, cake, and I can eat it too. Trying to kill me! <laughs> <laughs>